Hello. My name is Nashwin and I want to share something with you. This is what I'm making for my sister and uh, she will be traveling abroad and working with this wool. With this wool. Reference number is 8104 and polyamide and 50% polyester. I'm working grey. What I want to share. Yes, this wooden needle my sister brought for me from Turkey. It's very chunky. Very big for big work. So this is it. This is what I am working on. I feel that this yarn, the one which is grey, is dark is heavier than the white one. They are both soft, but this one is more. Uh, it's thicker. It's good. These are my yarns. Let me show you what I got. I have this yarn. I like it very much. It is in love yarn. 137 yard. 125 meters. It's 100% cotton. Washing instruction machine wash gentle. Tumble dry loop. Finish laying flat. I love this color. I got only one skin like this, but I told the lady to bring more for me and to call me when she will get the order. So that is that. Now I have a okay, now. I think the camera is not doing justice. I have two like this. This is the yarn, the color that Inga from Knitting Tradition she, she loves. And I saw her yarn. She loved this color. So I said I want something in this color also. She does good job with her yarn. So do you love yarns? I am 
in love with this yarn. If only I could rub the lamp and ask for the all the lovely yarns that exist. Let me see. We'll see now. Ta da. Same. Fibras. 195 meters. You work it on three to five millimeters or two point five crochet hook to four millimeters. Yeah. I also got this color they are all algodon in Brazilian it is called cotton this one you work on six millimeter either hook or needle this one I got Four. Yes, this one I've got four skin. They are all hundred and thirty seven yard. I want to make a good top of it. Yeah. Also I was working, I was making a top and I could work on new one sleeve. I had to purchase one more. So I got it in this color. Isn't it beautiful? That's lovely. I also got something chunky yarn. What I want to make with this is I want to spin. Will I be able to spin with this? I'm watching so many videos on spinning yarn. And now I want to spin. Do you think I will be able to spin with this? If I undo this and I look for a spindle and spin some yarn. See? Can I? Is it possible? I think I will try. See, I'm spinning. I think I will be able to make yarn with it. This one. I got a black one and then I got this beige, peach, cream, whatever you would like to call it. One black and one cream. I wanted to have four, two black and two in this one. And I said, no, it's better I try first. Then afterward, if I need more, I will go, go back to the shop. And then I will get some more. Maybe you're wondering from where I'm getting all the, the all these lovely walls. It is at Hobby World, which is
which is found in Plaisance Mall at uh, Osbell, is it? Isn't it? Yeah, you must know. And they are not expensive. This is like in dollars, it will be five to six dollars. This one, this two, this one. How much was it? I think quite the same price. This one four dollars. Yeah. Tada. These are expensive. These are like snow. Squishy, it's lovely. These also, it was, um, these were four dollar each. So I got four in the meantime. If I need more, I will go back to the shop. It is uh, 10 to 15 minutes drive. So that's okay. I will work on this one. I'm making this for my sister. As I said, making this for my sister, she's traveling and she will bring me more yarns. Is it good? I am supposed to uh, Yeah, if you have any question You can ask me I'm not used to making podcasts, but I've seen people Watching podcasts making podcasts. I Love watching podcasts, especially listening to podcasts podcast knitting podcast so I said to myself why not share my yarn to you and at the same time get used to the making of videos sharing what I'm making what yarn I bought yeah where did I learn to knit? It was when I paid a visit to my sister in Australia. There she taught me how to knit. Back then and I was not knitting. So after so many years, I did not need it was only after COVID it that I got into knitting um, can I say heavily thoroughly maybe sorry so I made many projects I made many hats scarves 
I made for my nieces, for my son, my husband, my brother-in-law. So, maybe I might show you some of the work that I've done. Some of my work are not that good. Some are either large, some are small. There are many faults, mistakes that I make. I was making a top, let me show you, in which I made a mistake and now I have to correct. This is a top that I made. Now, here it's a bit too low on the shoulder. So now I'm using this purple color. I'm adding like some pico or something like that. But if I'm not happy with it, I will now rip the sleeve off and then I will work it on the shoulder first, then I will add the, the sleeve. I think I will remove this purple color. I will remove it because I'm not liking, I'm not, I don't like this. I need to put a piece on the shoulder first and then put the sleeve back. I am filming on my phone and yeah, so I like watching podcasts from Meeting tradition. I'm watching, sorry, knitting with a cat hair. I like watching We Grow Wild. I like watching Ariel Knits, Aru Knits, Nee Knits. Yeah, there are loads of, yeah, make her from Skin of Dreams. I love them. Little Big Needs. I love Ali. I love uh, Laura Penrose Needs. This is an HV for my phone. I made this for my phone. In fact, I wanted to make a, a sock and then I made the top. After that, I turned it into a something to close my mobile yeah yes what am i working on i'm working on a big top maybe later i can show it to you uh today i just came back from uh dinner we ate moyani and we came home so i was in my in this attire nice necklace earring so i said why not make a video with my lipstick and makeups and everything i'm sorry
let me take a picture for the Yeah, so I want to show you one top that I made and I wore loads. This was inspired by Renacolas from Midori Hirose. This is it. But I didn't do it the way it was supposed to be but it turned into something I wore it a lot see this is a joke I don't know what I made what it became so the sleeve is in another yarn but I didn't mind it it's short this is it This was one that I made and I'm happy with. I made a mistake in this one. I was working with this yarn, which is very stretch stretchable, as you see. But then I had only, I think, two skeins and I needed more. When I made the top in the pink one, I thought it would be the same. It doesn't stretch. It's a bit stiff. I think I will undo the top part and do it in this one because I got them in that same shop. They brought it afterwards. This is the color I made. I'm not happy with it. You will see here. I'm not happy with this. So this one I will have to do again. I will rip back and then do it. This one. How do you call it? Sleep Island. a pullover long sleeve tension is different here as you will see tension from here to here it is different it's stiff but I'm not going to rip it back I'm not going to do it again I need to do the second sleeve This one I wanted to, to do short rows. I wanted to do short rows. It happened that I made loads of mistakes. See my short row, absolutely the contrary. I have to do the color again. I love it, but I don't like this. And I will cut it and I will see what I can do with it. I don't know if 
the thing that I want would be okay for this system. On the side, I've done like one, one, uh, one to one ribbing like this. On both sides, right and left side. Another one, this one I was trying to make raglan, but what happened is an increase and increase and increase. I didn't know when to stop. This I was freestyling the pattern. I was making like a medium or a large, but it became very extra large. And the sleeves are so long. I put it, this is the design, I put in the cuff. But I, I do wear it a lot. It's like a sleepover. My scrappy project is this one. It's a crochet. And right now, I'm working on another project. I'm using Amigurumi peach color. I'm trying to get better. This is it. This design come from the Japanese book, 1000 knitting pattern. So that's it. Until next.